Hey guys, Tech Control with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and install apps on your iPhone 15 Plus on the latest iOS version. Now, this method will work for any other iPhone on iOS 17 as well. So, let's get started. So, in order to download any apps on your iPhone, you'll need to sign into an Apple ID by going into your settings. And you might be already signed in, but if you're not, go ahead and sign into your Apple ID. Now, Apple ID, you can create one for free as well by clicking on through the option there that will also allow you to create a free Apple ID. But you'll need an Apple ID in order to download any apps whatsoever on your iPhone. So it's important that you either sign into existing one or create a free one, and then you'll be able to download apps. And if you need help with that, I'll leave a link to a video in our channel that walks you through different ways to create an Apple ID, but it's simple to create Apple ID. So once you're signed into your Apple ID, now you're gonna locate the default app, App Store, that has all the apps for your iPhone available. So I'll click on App Store, and then once I click on it, as you'll see here, you'll get, be prompted to the welcome screen. We'll hit continue, personalize ad or not. I usually don't, but you get to this official App Store, which allows you to download any apps for your iPhone. So in order to download an app, again, you want to ensure on the very top here that you're signed into your Apple ID. If you're not, go ahead and sign in, similar to how we looked in the settings. Sometimes if you sign into your setting, it doesn't sign you in here. It should sign you in automatically, but if not, sign in again to the same account. And after that, we can do is, in order to download apps, you can browse around here, such as games, apps, or arcade, or search for your favorite app that you like to download. So let's say you want to download an app, right? I want to download maybe TikTok, right? I search up TikTok, use the search feature here, and as you can see here, it gives me the option to download and install TikTok. So all I do is click on that Get button right here, and it says, do you, I want to install? Click on Install, and it's making me sign into my Apple ID one more time. So I'll sign into my Apple ID one more time, Alrighty, so I'm just putting in my Apple ID password because this is the first time I'm installing an app. Sometimes it might ask you to double click on the side button here or sometimes if you have a um, passcode, it might also ask you to put the passcode. But basically you want to do whatever it prompts you to do and then you hit on sign in here like I'm doing. And as you can see here, now it's starting to spin which is good. And then this pops up if you want to require it every time or wait after 15 I always just do that one doesn't matter what option you'll still be able to download your app just like that as you can see here it's starting to spin which is good that means our app will be downloaded now key thing about downloading is any apps on your iPhone is that you need to have good strong Wi-Fi uh, or a cellular data because you'll need to be connected to the internet either through your cellular data or Wi-Fi in order to download any apps because it's being downloaded from the internet. So as you can see here, it's being downloaded. I can swipe up to go back to the home screen. I'll see here it's still loading. So what will happen is it will download and install at the same time after the download is complete and you'll be able to start using the app that you just downloaded. Now, for the other thing is you can go ahead and download other apps if you like by searching the option as once you kick one off, let's say I want to download maybe Facebook, right? You can click on that, and then you could click on that Get option here, Install, and this time it didn't ask for my password. As you can see here, it will start downloading another app, and you can do this for multiple apps, and simple as that. Now, for some reason, if you don't see the app on the main home screen page, you can go to the swipe to the very last page, which gives you the app library and allow you to see other apps that are recently added in this widget or you can search for the app as well like using the search feature but as you can see here give yourself about a minute or two for the apps to download and install and you're good to go so i hope this quick video was helpful in showing you how to download and install apps on your iphone 15 plus or any iphone if so please make sure to like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time